Justin Trudeau hiding the true cost of the carbon tax. I'm Brian Lilly with the rebel.media. Now, how much is this carbon tax plan going to cost you, your family, the company you work for, the Canadian economy as a whole? The truth is, we don't know because Justin Trudeau and his liberals are being tight-lipped about their plans for putting a national price on carbon dioxide emissions. Now, we know that the government, and no government, puts a policy in place without some bureaucrat somewhere doing an analysis on the impact of the proposed measures. But when it comes to sharing that information publicly, Trudeau and the Liberals are actually refusing. So much for the mantra that they ran on during the last election and have been repeated ad, ad nauseum ever since. For most of our history, those issues were debated in the open. Those laws were made with people in mind. Those decisions were transparent and public. Not anymore. The Harper Conservatives have been in power for a decade and year after year, they have grown more closed off from Canadians. Now, the latest example is that in response to a formal request through Parliament for a detailed analysis of the carbon tax plan, the Liberals responded with talking points. One of the privileges of being a member of Parliament is that you can ask for and receive briefings on government legislation, proposals and such. And one tool for getting this information is called an order paper question. This is a formal written question to the government that's supposed to come with a formal written response, one that doesn't contain spin. This has been the tradition in our parliament for 150 years, but not with Justin Trudeau and his liberals. Conservative MP Pierre Poiliev submitted an order paper question on the carbon tax plan. He wanted to see the government analysis of the proposal. He had some very specific questions on there, and including the impact of the plan on on specific areas, such as well, how much will the annual cost of the basket goods in the market basket measure increase as the result of a $50 a ton price on carbon? This is used to measure poverty, by the way. He also asked when fully implemented, how much will the $50 a ton price on carbon increase food prices for the average family of four in each province of Canada? And how much will $50 a ton carbon tax increase electricity costs in percentage terms in each province in Canada. The government response, nothing but talking points. They offered no analysis, no reports completed by any government department. In fact, in response to the economic impact of the carbon tax plan, here's what Environment Minister Catherine McKenna actually responded with. Quote, the economic impacts of pricing carbon pollution are expected to include significant gains in innovation, competitiveness, and economic growth. Uh-huh. What about the effect on food prices, electricity, family budgets? Nothing. And yet we know these studies exist. Last Friday, just before going into his meeting with fellow premiers and the prime minister, Saskatchewan's premier Brad Wall tweeted out documents obtained by and reported on by the media outlet Blacklock's report. Now, the documents were heavily redacted, but they did say, and I quote, the tax would cascade through the economy and prices would increase for most goods that make intensive use of carbon-based energy, end quote. Cascade through the economy. Prices would increase. These are the words the government doesn't want you to hear. This is the news that they want to hide. You're going to get taxed more. That they're willing to tell you. And that they're crystal clear on. In fact, in response to another order paper question on whether the GST or HST would be charged on top of the carbon tax, Trudeau and his liberals, they answered that one. They said, that'll be up to the provinces. Can you just see Kathleen Wynne and Rachel Notley rubbing their hands with glee at the idea of taxing a tax? A laughter aside, Trudeau and his Liberals are willing to say they're going to tax us, but they're refusing to tell Parliament the impact of the tax, the analysis of that tax, even though we know the analysis, the analysis exists and has been done. Uh, this could actually see them found in contempt of Parliament. MP Poiliev raised a point of privilege on the matter on Monday. And given that it must exist, it must be provided to Canadians, that is why I, provide, I asked for the government to do so through very specific use of order paper questions which the government is, to which the government is bound by parliamentary tradition as old as this country to respond. 
It has not responded, and therefore it falls to you, Speaker, as the presiding officer of this House, to ensure that the standing orders are upheld, that the questions are answered, and that, that Canadians get all of the facts before they have to pay for the costs this government will impose upon them. Thank you. Now, lest you think this doesn't mean much, being found in contempt in Parliament is serious business. The opposition parties were so outraged at not getting the info they wanted from former Harper Cabinet Minister Bev Oda, they found the entire Cabinet in contempt and then voted a non-confidence motion in them. And that's what started the 2011 election. We won't end up with an election over this, but Justin Trudeau did promise openness and transparency, and he's not delivering. Instead, he's hiding key information from Parliament and from Canadians on how much this carbon dioxide tax and pricing scheme is going to cost us. All we get to know for sure, I guess, is that we have to pay and then pay again and then pay some more for his brilliant schemes. If you oppose this tax, then please sign our petition at stopthecarbontax.com. If you've signed it already, share this report and the petition on social media, on Facebook. Spread the word. Let people know they are hiding the impact of this and sign that petition. Again, it's stopthecarbontax.com. If you like the video you just watched, make sure you never miss another Rebel video again. You can click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel, or you can head on over to the rebel.media. You can find out about our big plan to take on the CBC, and of course, become a member and access premium content only available to those in the know.